a lot of things have changed because of the quarantine and that's not to include my makeup routine so before we get into exactly all the products i have hi honeys it's your queen bee but yes i've actually stopped wearing foundation and concealer and um primer and pretty much all that stuff i only just use like a couple products i'm going to get into here in a little bit i mean i just i've been mostly focusing on like trying to make my face clearer and just trying to like just work on myself and i mean i'm already pretty good at makeup like i feel i'm good enough for my own standards so my personal goal is just to make my face pretty clear to where i don't need makeup i don't need it um, I do have some redness on my face, but I mean, I just, I live with that. I've kind of grown to accept it. I'm trying different products, and I'll get to that in a little bit, on like, you know, how to clear up the redness, how to maybe make it not so, like, there. I do use this stuff from Hard Candy, but I haven't been using it because I want to try to find a different product. I don't know. I just, I'm just trying to sample, like, little different things to see what works best. That works amazing. It's the uh, Redness Relief Serum love it so much um but i've actually been trying this stuff i'm going to be using it today i've been using it like pretty much all week this is the lancaster soothe and hydrate serum with hydrochloronic acid i think that's how you pronounce it i have no idea but i basically got this in like a little sample bag thing um i can't remember when or where i got it but i've used pretty much um a little bit of it it doesn't take a whole lot and it helps a little bit with my redness and it's not really that thick um, I do think I had a little bit of an allergic reaction to it though, because a little bit of it got on my lips and my lips are very sensitive and I lost taste for a whole day. Uh, so yeah, I've been trying to be really careful about not eating it near my mouth and just basically not eating it like a child. And then I've also been trying this stuff, it's from Dr. Jart, it is a tiger grass color correcting treatment. And basically what this is, it's kind of like the serum I use from Hard Candy, but it's a little bit thicker. Um, and to me, it kind of feels like, I don't know, kind of like um, the Smashbox primer, like the color correcting one I have, but it's different because it's green and then you put it on your face and it turns like a beige-ish, like tannish color, like kind of peachy, but I don't know, it's weird, it's hard to explain. Um, I haven't really been using this as much. I've been mostly using this serum, mostly because this is kind of thick and it takes a while to really get it into your skin and it just kind of looks a little weird, I guess. Um, but I'm definitely down to like try any other products from Dr. Jart because I've tried their mask before. Amazing. Love it so much. So my personal goal is just to clear up my redness. So I'm just trying to find products to help with that. So my whole makeup routine, I'm just going to go through that step by step with you guys. I don't need a sponge anymore because I used to use a sponge for my foundation. Hopefully you guys can hear me. My dogs are walking around in the background because they're in the same room as me. Um, yeah, she's finally laying down. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I have no idea. But yes. So my whole makeup routine is basically just simple, glam, like if that makes any sense, we'll go through it. This is literally one of the only things I put on my face for like a foundation serum, uh, color corrector, uh, what's it called? Concealer, basically all of that, I just use this, and my face is done. So I move on to more of the prettier things. <music> So my whole like routine has mostly been less is more and I mean I feel like that's really like a staple of this whole quarantine like I've got stuff to do but I want to be like ready to be in my pajamas and I don't have to like worry about a whole lot of other stuff so that is why we just do this and that is it. So then the next thing I do obviously I like the sun kissed look. Um, I've been tanning outside pretty regularly, like twice a day. I just tanned this morning for like, um, an hour and a half, I think. And then later, um, I think like maybe around two or three, probably two, is when I'll go outside and tan again for another hour. And that's pretty much it. I've been trying to avoid self-tanners because I feel like every time I use them, my pores just get really like filled up with the self-tanner. And that's not exactly healthy for you. And since I 
have been tanning outside, it's actually like enhanced my freckles quite a bit. Um, like the freckles on my legs have kind of like faded away, but just after today, like just tanning outside, you can kind of see like a bit more of them. I don't know, I'm pretty freckly, like I have a lot of freckles on me. Then the next thing, we jump right into the bronzer. I've been using this Wonder Beauty bronzer, the Costa Rica, or I guess it's Trip to Costa Rica. Pretty nice, I got this in a little Ipsy bag. And just like a little like heads up for you guys, I actually did cancel my Ipsy bag because the April one never came in. And I was very disappointed and obviously with the whole like not being able to work um, <laughs> and trying to be like a little bit more conservative with my money, I just don't wanna pay for makeup. So there we have it. So I just expect like one more Ipsy video. Um, I might make another one later down the road, but right now buying makeup and like stuff like that isn't really my top priority. So I basically just use the bronzer like a contour and then next we're on to blush. Now because for me my face is very red and pigmented, I just use the very lightest bit of blush. And I've been using the one from Autobomb, um, or I mean the Bomb, but it's Autobomb. It's called Girl Power. I absolutely love the Bomb and their blush is so nice and it's like really easy to work with. <music> And I have been using just the same brush for everything. Um, I mean, it's just, I guess it's just easier that way. I mean, there's really no rhyme or reason. And I've been using this Glam Glow palette. I think that's the company from it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so it's Glam Glow. I've just been using the middle one, the little pink one. This highlighter is amazing. I love it so much. And because you don't have foundation on and it's just going right on your skin, you really don't need a whole lot because that um, serum kind of acts as like a barrier and that's what really makes it shine. And then we're done with the brush. That's literally all the face stuff. Now I am just gonna take my finger and the white and I'm just gonna do the corner of my eyes and the highlighter is done. So the next thing I do is my eyebrows. Now this is a new product, I just got it. Um, it's actually in Ipsy. Um, they sent me the add-ons before they sent me the actual box for April. So I haven't tried this yet, but it is um, a really thin looking like uh, thing. Um, it is from Real Her, or yeah, I think it's Real Her, is a definer brow pencil and it's the I Am Strong. So I think this is like a universal brow pencil, kind of like the Billion Dollar Brows one I have. And it is currently the thinnest one. I do love thin eyebrow pencils, just like the one from Joa and the one from Benefits. Those are amazing. This one is so thin. And I think it's actually cheaper than all the other ones. So of course I'm probably gonna buy this if it works. <music> much it's a good color um it's a little bit light i feel so i literally just filled in my eyebrows like i normally do i try to keep it really natural yeah i mean looks good it's eyebrows that's literally it so next thing is an eyeshadow base and the one i've been using is the milani one and I mean, just use that just a little bit. It doesn't take a whole lot just to keep on your eye makeup for the whole day. And then for eyeshadow, I really don't have like a specific one I've been using every day. So today I'm just gonna use the Too Faced Natural Eyes. I do love this palette so much. 
So we're just gonna do a simple eyeshadow look. And the eyeshadow is done. And the next is the eyeliner. And for the eyeliner, I've been switching between a couple different ones. Um, the one I'm using today is, I think it's one I got in an Ipsy box. Ipsy is good for trying different things. I won't knock it on that. It's just this month it was late and I don't feel like paying for next month either. And again, trying to save my money. I think it's Araceli. But it is a pretty nice eyeliner. We're just going to do a simple little wing. I think I'm the queen of uneven eyeliner. Every single time I do my eyeliner, it's always uneven. But that's okay. So with my terrible eyeliner out of the way, uh, we're going to go on to mascara. And again, I've been switching mascara off and on. Um, just different ones. So today we're doing the Rebel London Scandal Eyes Mascara. This is an OG for me. I love this mascara. So we're just going to like do this today just to keep it kind of simple. And then for my waterline, I do like to do a little bit of something. So we're just going to take this white eyeliner pencil from Maybelline. It is the lasting drama one. Always make sure that your waterline pencil that you're going to use is waterproof because if it isn't, it will bleed everywhere and it just won't look good and it won't stay. That's just my tip and advice. I cannot tell you how many eyeliner pencils I have bought and I thought it was waterproof that was like a really pretty color, but it was not. Also make sure that your pencil is sharpened because if it is not, you can poke your eye out. I almost do every single day because I forget to sharpen my pencils. So next we are on to the lips. I like to use a lot of Too Faced stuff. So of course I'm going to be using the Too Faced Extreme Lip Injections or Lip Injection Extreme, however you want to say it. And then the Too Faced Lip Insurance Original. So I just do the plumper first, wait a little bit, then do that. And then we're on to the lip product. So the lip product I'm using today is Phase Zero. It is in the shade Undercover. And I don't use a whole lot of lip product, so I'm literally just gonna like put a tiny bit on and then wipe it off a little bit with like a piece of toilet paper or something. And that is good enough for me. So that is basically all I do for my makeup during these quarantine times. Will I change my makeup uh, routine again? Probably. I mean, I feel like I will still do foundation, especially in the winter time. In the summer, for me especially, I don't feel like I need it because it's already hot and it just melts off my face. I feel like I'm melting every time I put on foundation and go outside. And I'm outside a lot, so there we have it. And I mean, yeah, concealer I really don't need a whole lot of because there's nothing to conceal. So yeah, my big tip is just wash your face, make sure to like, you know, do different treatments and different serums and just kind of test a bunch of stuff out. Um, obviously, if you don't have it at home, probably don't order it just because money is probably for a lot of people really tight. Not really for me, but I do want to try to save some of my money because you never know when your last day of work is going to be, if that makes any sense. So I'm just trying to save for like a rainy day fund. That's pretty much it. So hopefully this video was fun, educational, informative, and entertaining. And if you like to make sure to give it a like. And if you like me, subscribe. And if you like me even more, make sure to open that description box and check out all of my social media links and pretty much everything else I have down there. And comment down below. What is your quarantine routine? My mornings and stuff literally look like I get up, I make coffee, I work out, I go tan, and then I get ready for the rest of the day. And then I take my makeup off, go tanning again, and work out again, and do everything else. That's literally all I do anymore. So with all that being said, hopefully you liked the video and all that jazz. And I think that's all I have to say. So with all that being said, thanks for stopping by. Love you.